All right, this video screencast is going to be on lab activity two in your binder, and we are going to be using longitude and meridians to calculate time, both civil and solar time. Most of what we're going to do right now is going to be solar time. And the problems we're going to start off with are number one, and you should have this um, right here. So it says, what would be the solar times for two persons living three degrees west and five degrees east of the noon meridian? <clears throat> so let's do this. I always say it's a good idea for you to write what's called a, what I'm going to call a reference line. And you're, you need to decide, so 3 degrees west is going to be west of the prime meridian, or uh, west of the noon meridian. So we only know that this is 12 p.m. This is noon. And this example here is going to be 5 degrees east. So 3 degrees west and 5 degrees east. So here's what I'll do. I always say draw your reference line <coughs> and label it, excuse me, 3, deg three degrees west. It's the, the solar time, right? The, it has not reached the zenith yet. So I can calculate, well, how, how much time until it does? What's the time difference? What's the solar time difference? Well, I can calculate this. I know, I know it's four minutes per one degree. So that means it is 12 minutes earlier, 12 minutes before solar time. So that means it's going to be 1148 AM. And... <clears throat> So my time here is going to be, for three degrees west, is going to be 11.48 a.m., right? It's still three degrees west of, so it's earlier here. It has not reached the, the, the solar, the zenith yet. Whereas five degrees east, I can take the same idea times four minutes per one degree, right? I'm, I'm going to reference the four minutes per degree for some, and even an hour for 15 degrees, right? An hour, 60 minutes here. So... 5 times 4 is 20. It's going to be 20 minutes. Because it's east of the noon, of the, the noon meridian here, it's going to be 20 minutes after noon. So it's going to be 12.20 p.m. solar time. That it's already 20 minutes past the, the, the solar time. The zenith has already passed. So we're going to move on to number 2. <clears throat> and I have these drawn out on here as well. And this one, this one's a little bit more challenging, but it just takes a little practice once again. <clears throat> so it's noon at 75 degree west longitude. This is our reference. So if I draw my reference line, you'll get used to this, 75 degrees west. So I draw my picture right here. What is the solar time at each of the following? So let's talk about 70 west. Well, 70 west, I know if I go this way, I'm getting closer to the prime meridian. Prime meridian somewhere over here. So it's going to be 5 degrees east right? Five degrees east, which means it's going to be if uh, my solar time, right? So if I've got, if it's noon at 75 degrees here, it's going to be five over one, five degrees east here times four minutes per one degree. It's going to be 20 minutes past noon. So it's going to be 1220. And I can do that one more time. I'll do this one just to kind of make sure we reemphasize this. Here's my reference line right here. I'm going to do it one more time. And you'll start, I need you to start seeing the pattern here. 75 degrees west is my reference here. And 7 degrees west is east of, right? It's closer to the prime meridian. Remember, my prime meridian is somewhere over here somewhere. It doesn't even matter where it is. Somewhere over here. So 7 degrees, this is a 5 degree difference. And I take 5 degrees times 4 minutes per degree. 4 minutes per 1 degree. And I find that it's 20 minutes. If, if 75 degree west longitude is noon, five degrees east of it, right, there's where we're at, is 20 minutes later in terms of solar time. So let's go to 60 degrees west. 60 degrees west is now 15 degrees east of noon. So 15 degrees times four minutes per degree is 60 minutes, or one hour. So it's going to be one hour. That implies one hour later in terms of solar time. Where did my picture go? Oh, right here relative to 75, it's 15 degrees east of it. So it's going to be 1 p.m. solar time, 1 p.m. right here. So now let's look at 90 degrees west. 90 degrees west is going to be earlier in terms of solar time, right? So it's 15 degrees times uh, over one times four minutes per one degree. It's going to be 60 minutes or one hour earlier. Therefore, it's going to be, if it's noon at the 75 degree west, if it's noon here, it's going to be 11 a.m. here. 
11 a.m. Now 115 degree east longitude. Now this one gets a little bit, little bit trickier, and, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I can think of it a couple different ways. 115 east, that's on the other side of the planet. And because if I look at this, if I look at this from the North Pole, right, here's my prime meridian, it's a 115 degrees around the corner, right, 115 degrees. So here's one area right here, right, I'm going this way, 115, but we're comparing it relative to 75 degrees west. So I have to add this total together, so 75 degrees plus 115 degrees is 190. And because it's east of the prime meridian, it is later. So I can take 190 times, I know that one hour is represented by 15 degrees, right? It's the same ratio I use up here. 195 by 15 is 12.6 repeating, or 12, um, yeah, 0.6 repeating, excuse me, that's correct. So it's 12 hours in two thirds of an hour, or 40 minutes later. So according to this, if I look at if it's noon, it must be 1240, 12 hours and 40 minutes later was 1240 AM. And that's a tricky one. You might wanna kind of replay that and check that out and I'll show you back to the, to the picture here. Notice, it's on the other side of the planet and it's 115 degrees east. I am 75 degrees west. I add 75 degrees plus 115, I get 190 degrees. 190 divided by 15 degrees, right? One hour over 15 degrees, one hour 15 degrees. And I find out that it's 12.6 hours, and because it's east, it's later. So number three, number three, I'm moving on. If the sunrise time in Chicago is 6.45 a.m., what is the sunrise time in Springfield, Illinois? So on here, well, you need to know latitude. So we've said Chicago's 42 north, 88 west. If you just did a quick Google search or looked up latitude and longitude, you'd find out Springfield is 40 degrees north, 90 west. And we're really looking at east west here. So it's two degrees, Springfield is two degrees further west. So therefore, it's not gonna have a sunrise at exactly the same time. It's actually going to be, well, two degrees west times four minutes per degree equals eight minutes later. So the time in which Springfield is gonna have sunrise is going to be 6.53 a.m. Number four. We're gonna get into number four right here. It is exactly noon, 12 p.m. at a ship's location. So what is the ship's longitude if at that instant, the time on the prime meridian is the following? So we're searching for the longitude. We're looking for where is the ship? So if I have this, this reference line, and this is noon, this is going to be what I'm, what I'm solving for. What is, it is exactly noon at a ship's location. What is the ship's longitude if at that instant, the time on the prime meridian is the following. So let's go, if it's 6 p.m., the solar time on the prime meridian. Well, 6 p.m. is, in this case, if I'm comparing the two, I have a six hour difference, noon and 6 p.m. I'm comparing the difference, that's six hours times 15 degrees per hour, that's 90, and I can calculate. Notice my hours cancel. It's six times 15, 90 degrees, and because it is earlier, right? Noon is earlier, it must be 90 degrees west. Here we have 1 a.m., next example. <clears throat> if I know that 1 a.m. is 11 hours difference, it's 11 hours, it's 1 a.m. on the prime meridian. If it's noon here, <clears throat> it's 1 a.m. plus 11 hours takes me to noon. So 11 hours times 15 degrees. Right, so 11 hours over one, excuse me, times 15 over one hour, 15 degrees, hours cancel. <clears throat> 11 times 15 is 165 degrees, and because it's later, my degree, or my direction is east. It must be east. Uh, moving on, solar time here on the prime meridian. So I have 2.30, and it's noon on the ship's uh, location, exactly noon on the ship's location. We're finding the ship's longitude from this. I take 2.5 hours, right, 2.30 p.m. is the difference, and <clears throat> it is earlier on the ship's location, right, noon comes, would be, uh, in this case, would be a, a west direction, so 2.5 times 15 degrees per hour, I get 37.5 degrees west, and lastly, and this was a tough one, this was a really challenging one, but I think you can, you can manage this. If I find here, if it's 5 a.m., 
I can take and find, I, it's always imp important to find the shortest distance around the globe. Always, always find the shortest distance. So if I take 24 minus 17, I get seven hours. Seven hours here. Seven hours divided by one, seven hours over one, excuse me, times 15 degrees per hour, I get 105 degrees east. So there's a couple different ways you can solve that, and we'll go over that again in class, but I want to give you, this is a nice challenge. This is a really appropriate challenge, and so is, so is this one up here. And um, the next one on the challenge problem, I will be loading on another one, because that's 10 and a half minutes, and this is what we'll be going over in class. You will have to be able to solve this on an assessment, but that's a good start.